WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN. Noontime update. The market says the Dow is up 281 at 25,929. We've had three days where the market had pulled back and then all of a sudden buying came in. That's very impressive. Three green candles we're looking at at least at this particular time of the day. Stochastic did turn up quite nicely. The MACD is turning up, but it's still very, very uh, weak technically. But this is a very nice bounce. It went right almost to the 14 period exponential moving average of 25,900. Uh, 66. The high so far today is 25,946. Now, the support will be at 25,830 uh, at any point in the next two days. If there's a sudden sell off, that's kind of the level that you'd be looking at. But certainly, we're going below 26,520, 26,480 says, oops. Uh, watch out, could be a more bad news coming in, but so far there's good action. S&P right now is trading at, this is also up quite sharply, the Dow is up 1.08%, but the S&P is up 1.3%, up 37 at 2888, uh, gone above the 14 period moving average, above the arch formation that I've drawn in as something to watch for. This is good action, certainly the weekly has improved a lot. And uh, the support here is at 28.72 on a short-term basis. The QQQ, and this is going to be very interesting, S&P is up 1.33. The Qs are up 1.5%, up 276 at 185.84. Um, Got a slow start, but now they're starting to kick in. Also above the 14-period moving average. This is good action, making the 184.40 to 183.90 really a uh, key support over the next uh, two sessions going into early next week. Uh, I want you to get out of this for a moment to show you something that was very important. Yes. So when we're looking at gold, gold has pulled back some. Now it's down, uh, let's say, 12 at 1285.1. It's gone back underneath the uh, trend line support that I was looking at uh, just a moment ago. Well, I, I was looking at it. But most importantly, we're looking at the dollar, which is showing strength. And that, once again, is showing, I think, respect for our economic recovery here. So this is good action. The, the dollar is up 90, at 97.82. I'll be right back. We'll talk about crude oil and bonds. Basil Chapman signing off. Stay tuned for my Tiger Technicians Hour and Steve, Dave, and Tom.